Today we will go to a movie theater in Russia, see what it's like, how much it costs and which movies you can see there. Let's go! Здравствуйте, как я могу купить билет на фильм Сын? Так, можно мне место 7 на третьем ряду? Супер! Карты! This is how ticket looks like. This is my seat and hole. Let's go. This is how it looks like inside. Very beautiful, bright walls, and it's so, so beautiful. This is mainly a red carpet over there. Very beautiful, and I like this chandelier. So great. Oh my god, it's a little fountain here. <laughs> wow. Wow, can you see that? It's like plants with water here. Wow. It's very beautiful. I just can't find the words to describe this. And today is sunny and this looks much better with the sun. Wow, actually there are a lot of cinemas in Moscow, about 300 and you can find them almost everywhere, in every shopping center on the upper floor. This is metro station, church and the library. There are also several types of holes in every cinema in Russia. There you can see chamber hall as Kamerny Zal. In chamber hall there are very comfortable seats and there you can order cocktails or special meal for yourself with delivery special to your seat. It's only available in chamber hall and also chamber hall you can book for your company so there will be nobody just you and your friends and of course there are also big hall and small hall this is how library looks like there are also bar with cocktails where you can order every cocktail if you want Cocktails, wine, beer, tea, of course, and coffee. Very cute. And there are many books about cinema and art, about Malevich. Why not? It is very cozy here, and these colors, they're very beautiful. And the sun, of course, the sun. This is actually Nekrasov's library, and you can find there any book if you want, and you can book it for two months, and you can take 
uh, overall 15 books in a month. It is really, it is free and it's really cool. Здравствуйте, у вас есть книжки только про кино? А, нет, вы можете еще брать книги по искусству, художественные книги здесь, научно-популярные, а, ну, психология, бизнес у нас еще здесь есть. Класс, а это бесплатно? Да, совершенно бесплатно. Очень здорово. А мне нужны какие-то документы для этого? А, да, вы можете оформить читательский билет, для этого вам понадобится только паспорт. Супер, спасибо. There are also very beautiful places to, do, to take your photos for Instagram or for just for yourself. And it's very beautiful mirror and the stairs and I feel like <laughs> very beautiful. They're all very beautiful. I can't find another words to describe this beauty here and I like this very much. Today I'm in the Hudozhestvenny cinema. It's one of the oldest cinemas of Russia. It was established in 1909. In 2020 there was a great scale restoration work and now it opens again. There you can also find several cafes. This one called Nike. It is decorated like the cinema in this design and it is really great. This is the main hall where you can find Zelinsky and Rosen products. It's very organic and very cool. This is a place where you can buy tickets, where I already bought one. This is wardrobe where you can find your clothes. This is gorgeous stairs to the second floor where will be my home. Today I'm going to a movie which called The Sun where Hugh Jackman is starring, yes, and Anthony Hopkins of course. And now I'm climbing to this I'm on the second floor where my Mali Zal is located. And look how gorgeous this chandelier, I just can't. Very beautiful. And the ceiling, oh my god, you can see the sky. And today is, it's sunny outside, very bright and very beautiful. Ticket space. There you can see what is in the cinema. Jules. Jean, Les Quatre Cinq There you can find retro posters of films and also a mirror. One another beautiful mirror. I like that. There is my hall. Yes. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Приятного просмотра. Спасибо. This is how it looks inside. This is small hall. Here you can find four rows. And my place is uh, seven on the row three. So here you can find your row. And let's go. No, 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 <laughs> no. This, this is my place. So, okay. It is tradition in Russia to watch it before the movie and it can be like 30 minutes. Usually the seats are not full recline, but if you buy a ticket in a chamber hall, 
you can find them really comfortable big chairs with a full recl recline option. This is Metro and this is cinema. <laughs> yes, ah, this is cinema. Oh my god, sorry. This is Metro, this is cinema. So actually there are a lot of cinemas in Moscow and uh, about 300 I think and uh, they you can find them actually everywhere they are located uh, on the upper floors of uh, every yes every shopping center so uh, but there are also cinemas which uh, occupy the entire building and it is typical for cinemas uh, built in Soviet times so today I went to the cinema, which is called Hudojestvenny, and uh, it is located in the city center on Darbatska metro station. And you can easily find the way where uh, it is located because it's really the entrance of the metro, and you are already in the <laughs> cinema Hudojestvenny. Behind this window, you can see metro metro entrance. This is Metro Arbatska over there, and. This cinema theater is located very comfortable when you use Moscow Underground. You can just... Uh, established in 1909, Hudoj is one of the oldest cinemas in the world. The most important premieres took place here. The first color and sound films were shown there. And the building has always been equipped with the highest technologies of the time. In 2020, a large-scale restoration was completed and uh, based on the original designs by Fedor Schechtel, uh, the building's historical appearance uh, brought back to life. Hudoshtini nowadays remains a premier uh, cinema and festival center of our country. Uh, in Russia, there is tradition to show a lot of advertising before the film started. So today I was very surprised when I see no advertising at all. Like it was only logos and uh, pictures of sponsors and partners of this Hudorstvene uh, cinema and then the movie has just started and I was like where is all the advertising? And today I decided to go to a movie The Sun. It is prequel to the film The Father, uh, starring Anthony Hopkins. Uh, in Russia, the son uh, is called Sin, and the son is a 2022 drama uh, film directed by Florian Seller from a screenplay written by himself and Christopher Hampton. This film is framed, as I said, as a prequel to the film The Father with Anthony Hopkins and Anthony Hopkins also starring in the film The Sun. But the main character is played by Hugh Jackman and he's so great as an actor, I just can't tell you, I can't, can't find the words to describe how good uh, he is as an actor because this film is fantastic. I don't. I don't even know how to say it different ways because it is really serious, it is smooth, it is dramatic and it's really sad, sad ending, yes, that's sad, no, no happy ending actually. And casts are amazing and uh, this is like, you know, double story about the fathers and son because Hugh, Hugh Jackman is a son to his par to his father, who is uh, Anthony Hopkins, and the main uh, plot is about uh, Hugh Jackman, who is father to his 17, 17 years old years old son uh, Nicholas, and it is real difficult relationship between them. So, as I said, uh, you can buy tickets offline in the cinema, but 
actually you can buy it in advance on the website of Hudorostvenny Cinema. I can show you how to do it. Uh, I we won't. Uh, I won't buy a ticket, yes, because I already uh, did it. So now let's check how Hudorstene website looks like. So now you can see uh, films that will be shown today. So we have uh, very... We have many festival films here, yes. I think this is specialization of Hudorstene because in ordin in the ordinary cinema in the in Moscow, like you can't s can't watch so many different festival films. It's like particularly shown in such uh, cinemas like Kudorstvene and Pioneer Cinema and Illusion Cinema, because it's usually it's only premiere films. Uh, like uh, foreign films or new, the newest Russian films, but festival films, it's very rare uh, thing uh, to watch in Russia, so Hudorzhstvenny uh, can show these films uh, and it's really great, appreciate, appreciate it. So we have this Operation Fortune with J Jackson, J Jacob Statham, Statham. yes, and uh, Romcom. Amelie, uh, Triangle of Sadness, I think, The Sun, and the other films. So you can hear their uh, price, uh, name of the film, uh, duration of the film, and uh, your hall. Actually, this is a uh, small hall, big hall, and this is the most expensive hall. Uh, you can also uh, see there. So today was a really great day for me. I went to the to a cinema to a perfect movie, which uh, like connected with my uh, with my mood today. So it was really really great when this uh, connection uh, happened. When I sit there and when I sit there and watch this film, this connection is like all. And I hope you really enjoyed this uh, video because it was really difficult to make this one because in the Hudorostvene cameras are forbidden. So I used my phone camera and I don't know how it is it worked or not. So guys, do you think cinemas in Russia are different from cinemas in your country? Let us know in the comments. And what movies in Russian have you watched or would you like to watch? Also write in the comments and see you in the next video.